you can become, as we said before, you can become untouchable. You really can't become unattackable. So there can be attacks, but the attacks don't have to touch you. Remember, your shield of faith should stop every fiery dart of the wicked. Now, the enemy is going to fire the darts, and you may know that you're under attack, but they should not be affecting you. So, usually one of the first ways to recognize that is as soon as you get that, that it, it's, a, it's almost like a certain type of fog and a certain type, even I don't want to say a headache necessarily, but just an attack there to where the purpose of it is to kind of get you off balance, get you confused, get you where you won't act, to make you indecisive is really what it comes down to. And so, uh, whenever you do that, one of the fastest ways to clear the fog, so to speak, is begin praying in other tongues. When you start doing that, everything starts to get clear and everything starts to get strong. And that now, now notice this. You can do this in response. Or you can do it as a preventive maintenance ahead of time that would stop it. And many times when that happens, people around you will sense what's going on. They will talk about a headache. They'll talk about the fog, the confusion. But you won't be getting it, even though you were under attack too, you wouldn't even necessarily recognize it because you prevented it by preventive maintenance, right? That's why, again, going into the uh, DHT, the seven secrets of spiritual power, if you're doing those seven things every day, then a lot of the attacks the enemy sends, you may know you're under attack, but it will not affect you. So it's important that you do these things. That's why we talk about them uh, in the DHT and even in our Bible school, and we show people how to do this every day. So, because it's twofold. The praying in tongues that you do every day actually helps build you up in your most holy faith, the Bible says. But then you're also doing the uh, acknowledgments, which is acknowledging every good thing that is in you in Christ Jesus. And you're starting to say who he is in you and who you are in him. So it's kind of twofold. One makes you stronger, okay, and protects you while you are getting stronger. Now, understand, the building yourself up in your most holy faith, praying in the, in the Holy Spirit, that is a spiritual strengthening that you may be strengthened in the inner man. Now, your inner man looks like Jesus, but notice by praying in the Holy Spirit, you can actually strengthen the inner man. Now, that, your inner man looks like Jesus, has the functions of Jesus in you, but by praying in other tongues, you actually uh, energize that and get stronger in spirit. You understand that? And what that means is, now, whenever you start making acknowledgments and you start saying who Christ is in you and who you are in Christ, now, you're, that does not affect your spirit. That doesn't make your spirit stronger. Okay? Technically, your spirit is as strong as it will ever be. And praying in tongues is actually helping you build that up to the point where you can release it. Which actually causes it to create a, uh, almost like a shield around you. But acknowledgments does not build you up in the spirit. Now, this is one of the main differences between what we teach and what most of the other ministries that are well known teach because they tell you that you need to build up your spirit but there's nothing in the Bible about you building up your spirit your spirit is recreated in the likeness and image of Christ and all of the Holy Spirit is in your spirit so it's not a building up in your spirit per se you get it so now what you're doing is whenever you're praying in other tongues it edifies or builds up but what it does is it, it it's like it gathers the strength of the spirit to be released so it's almost like you're gathering it to release it, and it's not necessarily that your spirit is getting stronger. Your spirit is already strong. So when you make acknowledgments, it does not affect your spirit. It is building you up in your soul, and is helping renew your mind to the Word of God of who you are in Christ. And so that's why it's twofold. You need to be able to do both. You need to be able to pray in tongues, and you need to be able to make acknowledgments. So... The praying in tongues allows the strength. It's like it gathers the strength to be released. And then whenever you uh, make acknowledgments, it is building your soul up so that you're strengthened in your soul. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, now, <clears throat> and that's, and, but if you do that ahead of time, you will notice you can become untouchable, but that does not mean that you become unattackable. The enemy may attack, but that doesn't mean it has to touch you. You can even know you're under attack, but it not touching you. And that's one of the, 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 one of the main things. So, see, Bill, most people have experienced some of this. Uh, usually when they've experienced it, what they will say is, man, they, all, everything was coming at us. Everything was hitting us. Uh, but man, I felt just such a peace. Okay? That means you know you're under attack, but it's not hitting you. 
right? That's why you have the sense of peace. If it was hitting you, you wouldn't have that sense of peace. So, but that, what that means is your shield of faith is taking all the fiery darts. You're, you're getting under attack, but yet there's a peace. So the key is maintaining that peace. And that's where you can tell where you're walking is how much peace you have. And sometimes you don't even know how much peace you have until you're under attack and you know it, but yet you have peace in the middle of it. Right? And you go, wow, I've, I'm really, I'm walking with God and I've got a lot of peace. Why? Because I shouldn't have. It, it is, you know, uh, beyond understanding. Right? Uh, it, it's, it's, it makes no sense. You know, it's the peace that passes all understanding. Right? And so people go, well, how, how does that work? Well, I don't know how it works. I just know it does, right? And I know I'm experiencing it. So this, I can't tell you how it works. I can tell you what it feels like, right? So now, 